Hi everyone, today we are back with Banished episode number 2. So we are coming back to our small colony or small village Kalayaan. We have 17 children and uh, 17 adults and 4 children. Last time we were able to establish and survive our first two years. We had enough food, enough firewood, but we don't have enough logs at the moment. We already have a blacksmith here, a tailor. Two stockpiles, a woodcutter, a boarding house, an herbalist, and then we have a gutter's hat and a tin cabin here, and a forester slash as well. So, our goals for today is address the comments that I saw from you guys uh, moving the herbalist to the forest. So, that will make uh, it more efficient, as well as uh, moving the crops uh aside from each other um away from each other so first thing we will do is we will create a new herbalist which is here so i would like to establish a herbalist somewhere within this area now after establishing this um we want to have people uh, the construct this one so once that's done like I would, would like to prioritize building this one and then we can uh, oh I'm also building a trading post so then we can start uh, the constructing this one after we've built that uh, next one is moving this uh, alternately so pumpkin pepper pumpkin then we can have here uh, pepper pumpkin and then we'll have a pepper here so one comment said that uh, if there are any issues uh, between uh, crops it was it's better if uh, they are uh, not beside each other so that's why we're doing that we have enough you will I can probably uh, put this at around one five but at the moment we do not have any lugs so we can start uh, moving uh, destroying resources so let's gather all of these let's gather all of these all of these okay we want that and then maybe this one this as well so be careful uh selecting uh, selecting resources from the other side okay so so far is anyone moving um, we do have five farmers. I can put one into labor's uh, work so we can start getting some logs for this construction. Let's put the speed to 10 for now. All right. Um, what else are, is our goal for today? Um, I would say that I would like to finish the trading post so we can trade for animals since we can... Um, build a pen for those also i would like to build the school um i don't know it's if it's good early since it will slow down the growth of our children but yeah i'm looking into that is anyone working on this uh what is my people doing okay we are gathering i think we're gathering can we prioritize gathering wood Okay, we have some logs there. I think they can start working on the new herbalist a building. I'm putting the farmer back. Since the blacksmith and the tailor didn't have anything to do, so they'll probably gather the resources. So that's the woodcutter, so... <laughs> uh i think let's can i pause this let's put this at 1000 for now so we can stock our lugs all right looking good so far one person complete it's quite slow i don't think we will be able to finish i don't think i also don't think this is effective so let's just put no one there I don't think it's effective. We only have two stored, so 
Yeah. Okay, our children are becoming uh, working classes, so I'll assign more laborers, uh, builders. I'll probably as assign an additional fisherman and hunter. But for now, I'd like to focus on getting everything done. Do that. Then what else can we focus on? I'm thinking of building, since we have 2,500 food, uh, I can probably start building more houses, right? I'll probably build some houses around this area so the employees of this area are working within their home or near their homes. So that's what I'm thinking. Uh, that's one of my goals probably this episode, just establish some maybe three homes here or four maybe so people will start leaving this but i, pro I would probably leave the boarding house as is since uh, we might need some more space for more people in the future also i think building more houses will speed up birth so yeah that's good that's a very good sign for us we can do that Okay, everything is slowly building up. Uh, construction is very slow. I don't know how long this would take. I don't think it will finish before winter. Uh, we do have 2,000 food. So once this is done, I would probably start uh, prioritize building the crop field here and assign farmers until we can start uh, building more houses. Okay, everything is sped up. What else can we do? Um, we can also uh, have a market, but that's something that we can probably do in the next episode. For now, we'll focus on the essential still housing, the trading post, and the herbalist, and maybe a school. So let's just wait for everything to be built. I don't want people working on this. I want this to be prioritized. So I'm not sure why they are not prioritizing doing this one. Okay. We have a lot of lab labor so I don't think we would need uh, more to cut down trees. But hopefully they can get this done. It's already winter. It's it's late winter, so I think we're all good. Don't have any diseases or anything. No one is dying yet. So that's a good sign. Winter is almost done. Winter is almost over. Yeah. And we are all already building up our storage logs. Our log stored, so that's also a good sign. Yeah, so far we're surviving. No deaths yet. Come on, it's still at 4%. Come on, guys. We need more. We need more people working. No one is working on this area. Please prioritize this. It's already year four, and <laughs> the herbalist building is not yet done. Uh, okay. So, as I've mentioned, after that is done, we will probably transition to building more houses and building our farms. Maybe I would uh, spread out the farms on this side. Let's see what we can do since we already have 20 workers okay so this is six i can i can probably add two more farms crop fields or maybe orchards don't know if we have if we can plant any orchard stuff but yeah this is getting done first what is happening bro why is no one working? 
Come on. Come on, guys. They're working on this first. I don't know what's happening. Did I do anything, something wrong? Need people working on this. Come on. They, they constructed this first before doing that. Oh no. Uh, also, uh, I forgot. One comment was... Oh, we need more storage. Uh, wait a minute. Uh, I need to build more stockpile. So I'm thinking building on this side. Just to have a little bit... Uh, so we can spread out our storage more. Maybe like that. We'll do. Okay, 5% at least we're seeing some sort of uh, improvement on that. Uh, oh my god. Okay, at, at least we're storing more food, right? So I think that's good. That's a good sign. Clothing, we have 28. We have 200 tools. Uh, I can go for maybe 350. Just so we have extra so when the trader comes in the future we can trade those tools okay you know what i don't understand why they are not working on this is it because i didn't mark these items as good for uh extraction is that it it should be automatically marked as for extraction, right? My goodness, it's taking so long. I don't know why or what I did wrong. But yeah, we have everything we need. I just need people to start working on this. You know what? I'll build another one. Maybe there's an issue or a bug or something. I can do this. Then I can tell them to prioritize working on this one. Please. Oh, they they finished <laughs> they finished working on this one before finishing my herbalist. So I don't know. They're also almost done with the trading post. Okay, I guess we'll finish the trading post first. I don't know if that will be an issue. So I wanted to finish the buildings first before I build roads since I noticed that in this game they prioritize building the roads if that's uh, put there so I don't know what's happening they're not working on it so I guess let's just leave it at that for now uh, I'm concerned because we only have two stored medicine okay they're slowly removing the trees that's a good sign okay I think they're start work they're starting to work on it okay so that's good I like that um, okay so now I'll plan roads for the city okay so one person mentioned that it's better to have roads within my buildings here because it will help everyone travel uh, travel faster. So I would like that, right? It will help everyone move a bit quicker, especially during winter time when, um, what do you call this? When it's snowy and that. You need to move faster to get to your home. I guess that's uh, 
something we can also work on. I just want them to prioritize working on this building. And now we have we now have our trading post. Uh okay, so let's remove one builder. And I'm putting one trader here. Okay, so I'm putting the trader there just because we can probably soon we can probably get some trader coming in. Our storage is almost full. It will not be full once we start building those houses. So yes, uh, I'm not worrying about this getting full yet. Uh, I'm worried about getting houses first. So I can already start building houses over on this side. Maybe we can do one, two, and another one. Uh, in this area maybe. Maybe another one there. So that's three houses over this area. Uh, I'm actually worried because I have an experience uh, in the past where I built houses and they got all the food and some families in other houses did not did that did not have enough so hopefully that doesn't happen for now I, I guess I'm just building four just to you know control the growth and the uh, amount of food that we need so let's do this so once this is done I'll add two more crop fields or an orchard i think an orchard is best since we already have our crops here what is this guy doing oh he's the trader he's the trader oh he's a tailor <laughs> he doesn't have anything to do we can start uh our all all resources are have been extracted so i guess let's just uh have them extract more Although this is quite far from the, the city center, but at least they can start getting that. Also this part. Okay. So that's good for now. Now I can add one herbalist. Then you can start moving time faster. Then I would like to have an orchard. Now I'm thinking uh, since we have a road somewhere over here and this is a large flat uh, flat land right so maybe I can have orchards on this side and on this side. Then in the future we'll have houses over here. So I'm thinking a 7x7 seven seven orchard as well and a 7x7 seven seven orchard on the other side. Now we can do pecan. Okay, I just would love them to prioritize working on the uh, houses for now. Oop. Our food got gone down. Food went down, so I need one more farmer so they can start working on this. Uh, I'm just worried about our food situation since we have a lot stored here. I think this is over a thousand worth of food. But once those houses get built, they will start getting food from our storage. See, they're slowly getting their supply. Okay. We are, are year 5. Uh, and we are getting more labor. So that's a good sign. We have started our orchard here. So I can probably assign one more 
uh, farmer. So we are at eight farmers now. And two houses have been built. So we already have, we, at the end of this, we will have three families with their homes. All right. So I think that's good that we have a little settlement here. I don't like this road. So I can, I'll, I'll delete this portion. Just that. Okay. Uh, now, what I like about this setup is everyone's working here, but the storage will be here, kind of uh, in a centralized position, so everyone could have access to it. As I've mentioned, we'll start building houses here on this side. We have 2,600, so I guess our next project is to build more storage. So I'm pausing the game so we can start on having... Maybe a market will be good, but is a market good? Should we do the market now? Uh, I'm thinking maybe we could start preparing the market, uh, building the market. But for now, let's just build an additional storage. Maybe somewhere over here. Okay, let's start building a storage here. And then we'll start building a market as well. We'll also look to uh, we'll also look to start building houses over here since we have excess food. So I would like them to prioritize building this. Then I'm thinking building more roads on this side, something like this. Then I'll put orchards here, but I won't have anyone work on it. Just so I can have uh, an idea of where I want things to be. Then I want to build a house here. House here. And maybe... Or is that good? I think that's good for now. Just leave it at that. Okay, we have plenty of goods. We have additional storage, so that's also a uh, good news for us. Okay. So, uh, so far everything is stabilized. Uh, we have more than two thousand food, food, nine hundred firewood. Although it's slowly going down, this used to be around one thousand. Uh, we are getting more children born. Uh, we used to be at around 21 people. Now we are 29. Logs are getting stored. I'm thinking we need one more, probably one more Forester's Lodge. But uh, we could just assign one more person to, uh, to that uh, job. So, let's see. Forester. I could, I could do one more Forester. You know, it, it gives us a buffer to the logs and the uh, trees that we plant. Since we are slowly losing our trees over on this side. I can also start branching out here. I can maybe create a bridge. So I can gather all the trees on this small island. Yeah, uh, maybe when we get around 25 more... Uh, at 25 adults i'll start building a school a uh, building a school will slow down the growth of your people so they will be students so as you can see on our population here there is there are adults students and children so before or if we don't have any school these children they will be these children will be going straight to adulthood so they will start working for our village but uh, if we will have a school these children will become students first before they become adults so I'm thinking we only build a school once we have enough adults okay I think that sound that's a that's a pretty good idea so for now we'll have this area these are orchards I can also start putting more maybe more crops so let's build the road since we have 
uh, a little uh, what do you call this a little bit of like free time for our people we can put more crops on here so let's go seven by seven there a seven by seven here then i'm going to start planning the market so the market i'm planning to put it maybe somewhere near this area let's pause it for now we don't need to build that just yet but that's something that we will probably look on working on uh, i can get pepper here and i can get pumpkin what i'm thinking is i can reduce the hunter reduce the forester and have them work on our farms for now and then we have three laborers who do nothing yet so maybe we can start building this i guess um let's just extend the roads i want the market to be engulfed putting it right okay okay there so the market will be like a central place for people to buy their goods although <laughs> these people in the forest will be buying way 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 far but i think that's just life right <laughs> uh i'm also planning to build in the future i will build a city hall i don't know if that's what it is called uh where is the city hall town services Cool house town hall so i'm planning to build a town hall in the future this will give us a summary of our town statistics uh this will also allow us to accept uh, more people to our town so that's also a another thing that we would like to have uh so this one let's go for you know what let's go for 500 why not and then for this firewood, we have extra, so maybe we can put 1,200. Okay. Okay, now assign a vendor here. Once I assign a vendor, this vendor will get supplies from our barns. And he or she will start selling those items here. So that will decrease our stored food. So that's also one thing that we should take note about. But overall, I think we're all good on that for now. Uh, I can start building a couple more houses. Okay. So we have workers for this area. Okay. Workers for this area living along this and here. While people working in the forest will be within this area. Right. So I think that's uh, kind of a good planning around well not really if someone didn't mention about building houses in the forest with for our laborers there i won't be doing that but yeah thank you that, to that person uh we have extra laborers so these extra laborers can i can already have them work on the orchards but i don't think this is unnecessary oh the trader is coming the trader is coming let's go we can finally trade something let's see let's see let's see what we can get or what he has to offer okay okay let's pause okay so what can we purchase so he has peaches and pumpkin oh i don't is it It's just food right it's not seeds or anything it's just food which we have plenty but yeah i don't think we need the peaches oh no i don't think we need that uh, let's just dismiss him for now i don't think we need the items that he brought that's that's a shame i really wanted to 
get a new seed or some animals that we can start going on um but yeah that's unfortunate i will come back maybe next year <laughs> but for now we are all good we have 25 people now so should i start a school now or should i do that in the next episode when we have around 30 people okay i'm thinking we should I, maybe we can wait i can put the school over here on this side and then put more houses over here and more fields uh maybe we can wait for the next episode uh this one well what we did this episode is we built the new herbalist here we built new houses for the people working in the forest we extended our village northwest uh we created the market we added new fields and we built new houses for our people to start living here we also built a new storage barn so that's good uh we also finished the building the trading post so yeah I, overall i i guess this is a good place to end the episode next episode we'll probably start looking to build more town services as i mentioned the school and the town hall maybe even no no the cemetery probably at year 10 we'll start building the cemetery but for now i guess we will end here all right okay everybody thank you for tuning in thank you for watching on this episode of banished uh if you have any suggestions on the build please feel free to comment down below please like the video if you liked it um and please subscribe that helps the channel grow so please 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 do that and i appreciate you everyone thank you for tuning in this is JK signing off. Thanks everyone. Bye.